everyone. All right, then. For some of us, or most of us across the old nation, the bitter cold has set in. It has finally arrived. Now, myself, I was over at the shop on Saturday, getting a little extra work done. I try not to work on Saturday and Sunday if I can possibly help it. But this particular Saturday, as you can see in my, I don't know, before video screenshot, the temperature was negative three out. It was quite cold. And uh, the guy I've helped with the bike, I don't know the gentleman per se, but he saw I was there, saw the old, you know, steam coming out of the old chimney, if you will. So he stopped in to thaw his bones out because a lot of people use these motorized bikes as their sole means of transportation. So he stopped in to get warm, which was 100% fine with me. And he was also thanking me for a video I had done a year or so ago about additives to help keep your bike from freezing, gas lines that is, and to help it start a little bit and perform a little better in these negative temperatures. So I thought, and most people have already seen it, but I'm going to do another brief one, which will hopefully help someone out in these bitter cold temperatures and some do's and don'ts. So without a further ado, let's get started. Today's little brief discussion, as you can see in the old video here, is some fuel additives that keep your fuel line from freezing. God forbid it get a little condensation in it, especially with these negative temperatures. One is a good one to use in both two cycle and four cycle. One you can use in four cycle stuff. I personally suggest just going with the one and we'll get to it. The pure alcohol one works fine in a complete four stroke setups, but I don't suggest using it because nowadays a lot of stuff, rubber O-rings, gaskets, carburetor parts, do not care for pure alcohol to be on them and it can ruin, you know, seals and gaskets and what have you. But seafoam does not, and it doesn't do it to two strokes or four cycles. Also, alcohol, if you have a two-cycle bike, thins out the oil, and immediately, and I'm not kidding, by the end of the block, the end of your driveway, give or take 50, 60 yards, will completely damage and ruin your two-cycle bicycle engine. No question about it, not, hey, I'm going to get away with it. It's definitely blowing up your motor, period. I've seen it a handful of times where guys have just gone ahead and used it. And what I'm talking about, and my makeshift little table here, is this stuff right here. Car, gas line, and freeze. It works great in cars, not so much in your motorized bike. So my suggestion to you is do not use this. I got this out just for an example of what not to use. So we're going to put that to the side. But this works in both four cycle and two cycle. It says truck and SUV because it's a taller can. I got a lot of stuff that I use it in. So naturally I wanted the bigger can, more bang for my buck. But the product is still the same, Seafoam. I am not a big believer in cure in a can, but this stuff really works really well. If your bike's gonna sit, and you're not riding it over the winter time, so it fires up for you in the springtime, or if you are an avid rider and you have to ride in the cold, it does not hurt a thing to put a little fuel additive in your gasoline. Now, me personally, this is my two cycle can, and this is my regular four cycle can for like my lawnmower and four wheeler, things like that. All right, it is a simple, simple mix. Now you can use a measuring cup, if you do not have a measuring cup, it is done in ounces. This has cups. And the other side has your trusty cup and ounces. And as soon as I turn that so you can see it, there's the ounces. Might be a little hard to see, but it's glass. It was just for demonstration purposes. Now, you don't have to be exact science on this. <coughs> Excuse me. It is one ounce of seafoam for every gallon of gas you purchase. 
So I went down and bought one gallon of gas. I watched the gallons, not the money part, to make sure I have one gallon of gas. So I will pour one ounce of seafoam into my one gallon of gas, then my gasoline is treated. This one has three gallons of gas in it, so I will put three ounces for this one, for my four stroke stuff, because I will put it in my lawnmower, both lawnmowers that are four cycle, my bike, and my four wheeler. And that way, being there's some of them will be sitting more than others over the cold spell, they'll be ready to roll in spring when the cold spell leaves. If you do not have a measuring cup, everybody that has the two stroke set up is always buying one of these and it has a little measuring on the side. Yes, it only shows two ounces, so you will fill it up halfway with the shadow right there. See the shadow? Zero, and we'll fill it up to right about there. If you go a little over, it's not going to hurt a thing. It's not going to blow up your bike either way, be it two cycle or be it four cycle. It's not going to damage your engine either way. That is the beauty of the sea foam. If you make a little half ounce error, it's not going to damage and cost you money. Where if you use pure alcohol and you put it in your two cycle bike, I cannot state that enough, your two cycle bike engine is going to blow up. It is going to damage the pistons, cylinder walls. It's going to not run. It's locking up, period. As I've stated before, I've seen it. It happens. I guarantee it. Okay, for this quick demo, just an old two-stroke oil bottle I had laying around, Master Pro one. I use, I'm using that because it has the clear side window. Some bottles don't have the clear window, so you can look inside, see the lines, and guess. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect science. You just want it as close as you could possibly get it. Because who doesn't want to be half accurate, am I right? So we'll pour a little sea foam in there, hold it up and see what we got. And as you can see, the fluid in there moving. I am just at an ounce or just a smidgen over. And it is simple as pretty much. Taking off Mr. Cap, pouring in Mr. Sea Foam. Replacing my cap. And give it a little mix to make sure it gets throughout the whole gallon. And now I can fill up my bike and have some winter protection against gas line antifreeze. And it also cleans out your cylinder system through time. It's not immediate. You don't want immediate. But you run a couple gallons through your bike and it'll actually start performing a little better. Get some of that two-cycle carbon oil deposits out of it through time that I have personally witnessed on my own bike because I ran some over the summertime just to see because I like to make sure that I practice what I preach and what I preach actually does work before I share it with others and give people bad information and uh clean my spark plug up a little bit clean top of my piston and same thing with the cylinder head so kind of a double bonus so other than that, this is just a brief friendly video to help you get through the winter time. Because yes, naturally nowadays, gas stations, gas stations back in the day used to have steel tanks underground. When the ground got warm and cold, it condensated, put a little moisture in the tank. People had problems with gas line freeze in their cars and trucks. Nowadays, a little more modern technology they have fiberglass tanks or big old neoprene tanks that all the modern gas stations have. Doesn't conduct so much, or uh, yeah, I can't think of the word. Doesn't draw so much more moisture from freezing and cooling in the summer to winter and winter to summer in the old filling stations. So you don't have to worry about that so much. But you never know when there might be a little moisture in your fuel. Maybe your bike sits outside and it rains two days before a hard freeze comes, 
moisture might have got in your tank, fuel line, what have you. And this prevents you from having to take your bike somewhere inside and letting it sit for hours upon hours to thaw out so you can get it started. And it helps start it a little bit in the cold also. So anyway, I hope this video helps someone out. That's what I'm all about. Stock video, stock bicycles for those who ride them all the time and use them as main transportation. Other than that, ride safe. I hope everybody has a good new year, and I will see you guys real soon.